My name is Ratsy, welcome back to Slay the Spy, where we're going to continue with Marissa as well. Let's Conspire mod installed at the moment. I also know what my next rotation is. Already lined that one up. That's going to be a good time. But until then, it's Marissa. Alright, let's have a look at our path. Uh, four elites is a possibility, but it's a pretty garbage path. There's no upgrades upon the entire thing. Go for the random rare card and try and build around it. How about that? Ooh, okay, sure. Another second pulsars. Amplify effects cost no energy this combat. Let's try and make an amplify deck. So an amplify deck is going to be much weaker in the early game than it is in the late. So I don't want to take these early elites. Well, Master Spark does double damage. Neat. Pulse Magic. Uh, next turn, gain energy. Amplify. Amplify effects cost no energy this time. So we don't do that. That obviously synergizes. Like, that. that is if I don't have millisecond pulsars, what I would be using. That said, we don't have the ability to ignore the entire time. Firebomb if I exhaust a status. Not interested. Um, four twelves. Not going to be enough for lethal. All right, fine. Let's double defend Master Spark this turn for the kill. Grand Cross. Yes, exactly the kind of thing I'm looking for here. Um, Grand Cross. Deal 13 damage. Cost zero if you vamp uh, activate an Amplify effect this turn. But the thing is... Unless we have draw, and this character doesn't have much draw, this is 18 damage for free. Only a very small amount of the time? Deal 4 damage to all enemies. Amplify for 2, which won't cost anything from the millisecond false us. Uh, Insta-kill those with 15 or less HP. I think I take that. So, smoke, fire, poison, weak, and fear. Okay, so none of those were even great. Good to know, though. Hmm. And then Fairy Destruction Ray kills enemies with... Oh my god, what a big old number right there. Uh, uh, ridiculous effect. Um, unfortunately, this is a card that you actually don't want to amplify a lot of the time. So we don't want that, but Asteroid Belt is great. 8 block this turn, 8 block next turn. <sighs> what beauty it has! Just strike, 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 and then very destruction ray. Very destruction ray is so good in this deck right now. Uh, robbery. Exhaust amplifies to double the gold you gain. It deals seven, and you gain gold equal to the unblocked damage dealt. More than happy to take that. So I was going to defend, unfortunately, there. These enemies do buff, so I actually do want to finish this fight as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Very destruction ray. Four damage to all enemies, and then amplify after that, I think. Mm, but I can't guarantee that, so I'll just do this. So it does the four damage and then it tries to go for the full complete. Got it. Not going to be killing his turn, so we'll hold off. Oh, God. Asteroid Belt giving his eight block every other turn is so good. 
can get another one. I'll happily take it. Mm, no, not really. Yeah, none of those. Thank you for the offers, though. Um, 18 or less? Millisecond pulsars should actually be innate. Just, just is that important to us. Maybe you play a power, heal for 2 HP. Neat. All right, well, we've got an obvious power that will benefit from that. Fairy destruction ray upgrade. Sure, again, every time we three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. Pretty good in Marissa. Uh, remove a card from the deck. So every time we remove a card, we're making the deck more consistent. I'm more consistently going to have the right cards in the right hand at the right time. And specifically with a deck that is trying to build around Amplify, that seems pretty important to me. Explosive Potion, and then Robbery on that target. Fairy Destruction Ray, unfortunately, wasn't up at the right time. Uh, not easier Amplify effects. Whenever you play a card that costs zero, increase the damage of random attack in your hand. Uh, this turn, uh, not also important for us. Or rather, also not important for us. Well, the second Pulsar still matters. Getting a skill is a weak potion. I mean, I'll burn out a defend next turn with Sh uh, Shroom Brew, probably. Mm -hmm. Throw at the enemy, exhaust the defend, weaken them, beautiful. Uh, so yeah, it was only one strengthen of the enemy that got me eight block last turn and eight block this turn. That's pretty good. Good old kill on the gremlin knob there. Thank you very much. Frozen egg. Whenever you have to pack card to your deck, upgrade it. As well as... Damn, no. Uh, treasure hunter. If the kills a non-minion enemy in a elite or a boss room at the end of combat, obtain one relic. Um, I just don't think we can afford to constantly hold on to that and mess around with that. Ooh, amplify. It's not an amplify effect that's actually pretty good. In fact, both of them. Which of greed at the end of combat gained 25 gold. Amplify also gained a random potion. I think we take that. Um, do I also want to take Art of War? If you don't play any attacks during your turn, gain additional energy next turn. How many turns do I not play attacks? Actually, it's kind of common. And it'll only get more common if I add more paws into my deck, which I'm incentivized to do already. Let's get a defend out of here this time. Master Spark needs to be upgraded just so that it with stacked Amplify effects is still pretty good. Sweet. Even got a point of strength out of it for myself. And I'll be taking a ridiculous amount of damage here. Lovely. It's great news. Yeah, I can't really afford to hold off on attacks. Otherwise, I'm just never going to kill this enemy. That said, here I can only even play one normal attack. So I may as well wait for the Master Spark. There we go. Mm, I wonder if I should be poisoning the enemy. I suspect it's possible I actually don't even leave this fight, so I will start poisoning the enemy. And get two attacks there. So we've got eight block for the next turn at the very least. Sweet. Come on, draw me back into the Master Spark for the lethal. Oh my god, really? Sweet. Thanks, game. 
<laughs> Attack Potion, as well as Cask of Star, whenever you gain block at an upgraded spark to your hand. Uh, the sparks are zero cost attacks, so they are really good for incrementing Shuriken. Yeah. You just take it. Uh, the start of your turn, add one spark to your hand. At the start of combat, you can choose one of three random cards. It costs zero this turn. Busted Crown is actually a little bit problematic. I do want extra energy. The problem is Busted Crown reduces my options. And reducing my options at this point, like this deck isn't yet built, right? It doesn't do what it needs to do yet. It needs more copies of Asteroid Belt and a couple more copies of other Amplify cards. So to take Busted Crown would be to give up on those outside of shops at the very least. That said, it still might be the best option. The extra gold is pretty important. Sorry, the extra energy is pretty important. I'm going to take the familiar. Hopefully I don't live to regret this. Which, you can take either of the ways that was intended. Uh, yeah, hard left gets us three upgrades and then another upgrade before a late boss if I want it. Those upgrades are all really important to me right now. Fairy Destruction Ray or Sporecrumb? Sporecrumb seems fine. Okay. So, Millisecond Pulsar, then Witch of Greed, Sporecrumb, Fairy Destruction, and Spark. Hell, I can even generate an attack from the Attack Potion. Just so that I can get my Shuriken Trigger. Unfortunately, robbery only does for unblocked damage dealt. So now, robbery? Damn. Shame to have not drawn into it. That said, that's lethal. Uh, Galactic Halo is actually pretty good for this deck. The giant block and charge up. Gives me time to delay and wait for Art of War. Necronomicon. This is a problem. Uh, so Necronomicon is the only one here that I didn't want. And we have no card. Like, Grand Cross is... It becomes zero cost if it's active. So it's not even double played. I don't take Necronomicon here. It just gives me a curse on my deck. That's really unfortunate. Lose the 71 gold. And Omomori negate the next two curses you obtain. Neat. Okay. We'll go Pulsars. Witch of Greed. See what the enemies are doing right now. I think we do need to play the three attacks though. Well, we made the enemies lose their strength and we're actually kind of fine after all of it. Beautiful. Or rather, they lost their strength for that turn. Um, Dusk of Star, Asteroid Belt. I'd love to play these uh, these sparks right now, but you saw what the enemies turned into when I tried, right? We'll give it a go. Ooh, okay, never mind, that's fine. So that's a giant debuff that's coming in, but the... I'm not too scared of it, really. Hmm. None of this is going to work excellently for us. Uh-huh. The enemy's attacks just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger there. It's kind of dug in a little bit too far. Alright. Let's take... Ooh, Alice's Gift. Amplify deal triple damage. I mean, that's fine. But Asteroid Belt is the defense that we need. Alice's Gift is more damage, but I don't really need that right now. Alt Cloud is a great pickup. So, millisecond Pulsar, Alt Clouds, and then I'll even. I mean, I really wish I could have Casketed uh, Starred that turn. 
Because I've played an armor and I had an eight block that turn, and then that eight block gave me eight block the turn after as well. Like, all would have been perfect. It's not having that extra energy that's making it difficult to play. Obviously, as though anyone was under any illusions about that. I'm not going to play an attack. Just draw an extra card next turn. Uh, sorry, draw an extra card. Have an extra energy this turn. Yeah, it seems pretty important. Yep, seems pretty damn important. Beautiful. Uh, ooh, we can try and set up for robbery. Yeah. I'll take the gold, uh, the gold while it's available rather than waiting. It's entirely possible we get to a hand like this and then just kill the enemy, although I'd be surprised. Oh, never mind. That'll do it. No? Oh, God. If I did that in a slightly better order, that would have done it. Thankfully, we take no damage this turn, so... Wasn't really a mistake. It was just me uh, demonstrating a lesson, of course. Ha ha ha. Yes, that's what it was. It was me demonstrating something. Um, I'd love to take another Galactic Halo, but it's too too much. Too much defense now. Both these Asteroid Boats need to be upgraded. They get six more block apiece. I mean, come on. Woo! This is exactly the fight for... Uh, one sec. I don't actually really want any of these. Shooting Echo. Can't even kill the Frontliner if we're shooting Echo again. Alright, I'll skill potion looking for. Oh god, really? Fine, blaze away for free. Alright. So uh, the. Insta kill, the fairy insta kill that I'm desperately looking for here, by the way. Hmm. Cask of Star. Oh. An asteroid belt is still more block. Then just murder this, murder this. Oh no, I had double damage. That's why I was capable of murdering. Okay, never mind. So, need to do my damage differently there. Next hand, please. Great, we got the fairy destruction ray. That's all I needed. That's all I even wanted, gosh. I wanna throw out two more sparks here. Yeah. It's an extra point of strength. It's pretty damn good for us. Ooh, robbery, wild. Um, attack, attack, attack. Now robbery does double damage. Ooh. All right, that all worked out pretty well at the end there. Got a bunch of money. And now we can just kill the head last pretty damn easily. Ancient T set, when we go into a rest site, start the next combat with two extra energy. That's really good for us. Um, again, I would take the. I would take another asteroid belt. We have enough, really. Tiny chest upon pick up and gain 30 gold. You're 10% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms. This galactic halo gets upgraded. Um, it's also non-attack cards in your hand. Deal seven damage to all enemies twice. That just seems pretty good. All right, let's see what we get from the skill potion as well. Galactic Halo, totally fine. It's also non-attack cards in hand. Okay, so we play this. 
I mean, unless I want to... No, I don't want to exhaust it. Okay. Uh, that should have been played at the end of the turn because it wouldn't have benefit twice from the strength from Shuriken. That's a good point. That said, I'll just remove that minion from the board. Saving me having to worry about it. I'd love to Galactic Halo defend, but I really want the Witch of Greed out. It has to be Gal Galactic Halo defend. I'll just accept a bunch of damage that turn. That said, got a bunch of money for holding off as well. All right, now I can get the Witch of Greed out and then kill immediately thereafter. Get my extra potion as well as my extra gold. Magic... No, none of those really synergize with what we have going. I can just take Alice's gift here. It does exhaust, though. It's a problem with that. Um, millisecond Pulsar and then... Strike, Robbery... Alice's gift for 15. No. Fairy Destruction Ray, then Alice's gift for 18. Because the enemy on the front wasn't going to die unless I was going to be using a Strength Potion here anyway. <clears throat> Although maybe I should have used a Strength Potion there. Hmm. It's another consideration. So we got to play three attacks that turn, getting ourselves the extra point of strength. Didn't get to play everything else I wanted, but that's okay. That's how it happens occasionally. All right. So we do have Monster Spark in the next end. Enemy is attacking for a lot, but at the very least, I'm pretty well defended as well. One, two, giant Monster Spark. And he is hoping we draw into lethal somehow. Got it. Block Potion, way, way better than Gambler's Potion for us. Energy Recoil, no, no, no. Across the board there as well. All right, I feel like I have to rest in this position. If not for this fight, then definitely for the boss fight after it. Sprinkle Star Skill, 100% here. Oh my God, of course. Weaken the enemy. I'd love to Galactic Halo this turn, but Casket of Star, oh my god, this is so good. We actually have Casket of Star out. Finally. Simply finally. Defense as well, get extra spark. Um, yeah, Essence of Steel. Sure, because I'll probably play the Witch of Greed. So Essence of Steel seems fine. Witch of Greed also does heal us, so it's another good reason to take it. That is to say, it heals us the two for playing it, bird face turn. Uh, Dex Potion, as well as Juzu Bracelet. Normal enemy cannons are no longer encountered in question mark rooms, as well as Spore Crump. Ooh, three vulnerability to all enemies. It's pretty good. When your deck typically doesn't really apply vulnerability. Let's take Binary Stars and see how this goes. So Binary Stars, choose to add either Black Star Dwarf or White Dwarf to your hand. Black Flare Star or White Dwarf, sorry. So, can only be played when you have four or more cards in your hand. Discard any number of cards in your hand and then gain four block for each. Can only be played when you have four or less cards in hand. Deal zero damage. 1.5 times the size of your draw pile. Add two bonus to the hand. Okay, so both of those are um, garbage for us. Just complete trash.
That's okay, though. It's fine. It happens. But also, wah. Let's give it a star. We'll go for the dex potion as well as the block potion here. All right. Take a fair whack here. Oh, fairy beam is soon. Yeah. Shouldn't have done what I did then. All right, fine. Spore crumb goes across the board. Fairy Destruction Ray was one damage from killing the Torch with it. Damn it. Overall, it turns out fine, but still, damn it. Could have just calculated. Ten damage, two burns in hand? Not worth. So one of them adds burns to your hand, one of them benefits from them. Uh yeah, probably play that. Extra point of strength for doing so. As well as final turn the enemy is vulnerable for, but yeah, have to imagine that's gonna be reapplied. I do like points like this in boss fights where you realize, yeah, okay, I'm actually better to just go straight to the backliner. The gremlin leader fight is also another one where that's oftentimes the case. Little second pulsars again? No? None of those, yeah? Oh, that's really unfortunate. All right. Uh, draw one fewer cards each turn. Uh, every time you play two cards in a single turn, draw a card. We don't really need card draw in a sec right now, but it does help us add more zero costs. Uh, draw one last card each turn. With Conspire... See, I need the energy, but I don't want that. That is way too much to pay. One card a turn is worth way more than an energy. Specifically when you're going from four to five, right? Like the difference between nine cards in hand and 10 cards in hand is not that much. The difference between four and five is incredible. Um, I'll take the calling bell. So I miss out on two of the curses because the Omomori, I only get shame and I get strawberry. Pump pick up raise your max HP by seven as well as the meat on bone. If your HP is about out of below 50% at the end of combat, heal for 12 HP as well as incense burner. Every six turns gain one intangible. Go to this very, very early shop because obviously we are. Fairy Destruction Ray is going to be interesting here. Let's see if we can even get it really active in the way that we want. I could just go for kills. That seems better, preventing the incoming damage in particular. How do I keep doing that to my enemies? Okay, so if they've got 40 HP and vulnerability, I can't hit them unless I have three, uh, two strength. Got it. All right. I will ins... Nothing there either. God damn it. Mind me, cast I work with these. Um, I don't really want to take the damage here, but... All those cards are really good for this character. Yeah, just because they cycle. Right. Panache. Ideally would be good for this character. 
don't think it is right now, though. Um, decoder Ring. Whenever you play three attacks, then two skills, then two attacks, and one skill, deal 30 damage to all enemies. How often do I do that? How often can I influence that? Pretty often. I basically just have skills and attacks in the deck after I play the initial powers. I can I can use Conspire the Decoder Ring constantly, I think. Let's also remove the Curse from the deck, definitely. Upgrade all cards, you can no longer heal. Most of our cards are already upgraded. We don't need to do that. I mean, hang on. I can remove Normality in those two shops, and there's two shops. My god, yeah, we take I Am Rich. Hopefully this is not a fight. It's not. Uh, let's just upgrade a card naturally. Yeah, just because we have enough opportunities to upgrade all of our cards here, so don't need to do it out of any other source. All right, normality, don't screw me. I'm actually not going to be playing millisecond pulsars here, which is wild as hell, I know. So I do get to remove a minion from the veal, but I will be taking damage. I removed the minion that was going to be putting days into my hand just because I was mostly worried about those, I guess. Okay, Spore Crump's pretty good. Targets both, and then... I mean, I don't need to attack. That'll give me an extra energy next turn. All I can do. Now I have to take 30 damage. Uh huh. At the very least, the meat of the bone healing me back up. But gosh, that was awful on my part. Just really badly handled my part. Uh, Shroom Bag. Upon pickup, obtain two Parasite. Parasite cards can now be played. Playing a Parasite will heal to HP and exhaust the card. Uh, and draw the card and exhaust the Parasite, that is. Um, yeah, I'll take that. And definitely remove a normality. Take, uh, I mean, the dex is the most important thing. I'm not going for... I'm not, I'm not going for the heart. That's just not happening. Um, yeah, whenever you heal, sure. I mean, next shop could have some more stuff in it, but maybe I should take shovel. No, next shop could have more stuff in it. It's more impactful. Gift box. Upon pickup, choose and add one rare card to your deck. I, I've never really liked this. Just because it's of a selection of three. Collecting quirk, I guess, is just now damage. Sure. Uh, toxic egg. Whenever you add a skill tile to your deck, upgrade it. Oh, that's fine. Kind of just spend the rest of this. Or crump, my none of those are great. And we'll upgrade the collecting quirk for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Excuse me, that was a very sudden sneeze. Uh seven. Seven groupings is a 21. So previously it would have hit five times, now it's hitting seven. This card is exhausted. I don't really exhaust Super Besides in any way. Perseids, Besides. I don't... I just don't know how to say it. And I've been taught how to say it. I still don't know. I find it uniquely impossible. Yeah, I didn't need to use my two damage again. Oh, did I need to use my two damage against the Yeah, I did need to use four. Right. Um, 
Oh, no, wait, never mind. I didn't because of the Starlight Typhoon, of course. Robbery for a bunch of money, sure. I, of course, recognize fully that that robbery does nothing for me. What will I spend the money on? Yeah, no need to throw in another attack there. Just... Line myself up for <clears throat> some sort of a collecting quirk. No need to take any of those. Okay, do I go for the final elite? I suspect maybe it's a good idea to do. Obviously there I wanted to play Collecting Quirk, but uh, accidentally played... What was it that I accidentally played there? Master Spark. There we go. While I was trying to play one of the burns. Oh well. I mean, I guess that's a misclick, but also I do kind of want to go through the rest of my deck as well. Forgot that I didn't have uh, millisecond amplifiers. Sorry. Millisecond pulsars, rather. Um... Please draw me my lethal. Please. It's somewhere. It's not lethal, but it'll help. Oh, right. We didn't have the Amplify effect there as well. That's what I get for not playing Millisecond Pulsars. My god. What an awful fight. Remove a random debuff from yourself? How many debuffs do we have? None from this. From the boss. None from the boss. Okay. So I would have gone for another Elite, but now I'm terrified of them. Still doing it. It depends on the the elite as to whether it's a problem. Okay. Leave myself with extra energy next turn. Need to get all these powers out. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna be playing attacks this turn, definitely. I think past this point, I probably just want to stack charge up until I can blow up the enemy. Fine. So we... Galactic Halo Finesse. Just so the Galactic Halo is in my new shuffle. Then Spore Crump. Then... I really should just run out these attacks right now. Yeah, despite everything, I just run out the attacks. It also got us two points of strength to do all that, by the way. 40 incoming, rough. Um... Maybe I do need to be using strength now. Yeah, I'm actually a little terrified about all this. I say a little, I mean obviously incredibly. Probably didn't need to use all of those. Cards can be upgraded any number of times. <laughs> Cards can be upgraded any number of times. Which of my cards best second to upgrades? Like, Collecting Quirk, 
doesn't decrease the amount of relics again, unfortunately. Oh, that could be so good. Deal nine damage for every relic you have. Um, I don't know. I guess... I guess I actually don't want a mega upgrade. I want to rest. Just seems better for us overall. All right. So in two turns time, we have the incense burner go off. That's pretty good. Amplify effect on the refraction spark also makes sense. Which of greed doesn't necessarily need to be played this turn. Let's think ahead. I didn't need to play two attacks that turn. Hopefully I don't regret it. Should free defend, go for another spark. And, uh, okay, that one I definitely shouldn't have thrown. I need the extra energy and I know that I need the extra energy this turn in particular. Thankfully, we kind of got let off there, apparently. It's all working great. Um... I'll leave those sparks because I don't want to don't want to use my charge up on sparks if I can avoid it at least. Also, I don't really want to use my charge up on any of these, but uh, I have to. I have to. Ridiculous amount of incoming damage. At the very least, we do have Galactic Halo. But I should cast them in that order. Spark at the very end. Not needed. Okay, hopefully I now have the ability to just blow someone up. Because otherwise, I'm pretty sad about it. Um, keep a defend. Yeah, we're dead. All right, defend defends me for five, and I can't kill the backline of this turn. The incoming damage is 40, uh, 42. I'm dead. Uh, I needed those potions for the final fight. Basically, the misclick in... Which fight was it? Like, this fight? The misclick in that fight forced me to play much more conservatively in uh, this fight, which means I have no potions. I, I probably would have won, sadly. Like, I wish I could say, oh, no, it's fine. We weren't going to win this anyway, but I probably would have won without all of that. Uh, which all did start with a single misplay from me. God damn it. Why well, I say a single misplay. A series of misplays, to be entirely honest with you. I also never thought about the Dakota Ring after I poured it. That's another giant misplay there as well. I was kind of hoping that I was far enough ahead that it wasn't going to be a problem. Um, the deck also just didn't really have much going in it like it, it had the best thing in the deck was millisecond pulsars plus the asteroid belts and then the casket of star plus shuriken but those do not a deck make for the moment though my name has been rhapsody the name of the game has been slayed the spy hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves so as a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the game past present and future and hopefully we'll see you next time